We're going to take a spin through the system. Uh, it'll go for about 13 or 15 minutes. And uh, I'm happy to take your questions throughout or afterwards. So what we're going to cover is the entire um, affiliate program experience using Lead Dino first from your affiliate perspective. So we're going to go through from their vantage point, walk through the affiliate dashboard, show you everything that they have access to, and uh, they basically won't really know that they're running through Lead Dino. They, uh, you know, will see everything branded um, as to your site. So we'll walk through everything from your affiliate standpoint first, and then we're going to uh, put on our affiliate manager hat. I'll take you into one of my own Lead Dino accounts, show you uh, some of the settings that I've got so you can uh, emulate and uh, do similar on your side if you would like as well. I'm happy to take your questions throughout or afterwards, so go ahead and uh, type in anything on your mind in the go to webinar window. Happy to handle uh, your questions either on the fly uh, or uh, afterwards. Uh, with that, I'm going to go ahead and get rolling. So what I've got here is the affiliate sign-up page. So this is for um, one of our uh, sister companies here. Uh, we've got it customized to um, our site. Uh, brand, we've got our logo in here, our color. So you can do the same uh, on uh, with your own affiliate website where you can uh, customize it uh, as you would like. This is where we're going to send prospective affiliates to get signed up uh, to join your program. We'll talk affiliate recruitment in a little bit. Let's just kind of walk through the uh, use case of one affiliate signing up to join your program. So what we do is we pass them uh, on through to their affiliate dashboard. So this is unique to each affiliate. Uh, contains everything that he or she needs to promote um, your website and your product. So first and foremost, what we give them is a unique referral link. This link can be uh, posted anywhere that they have access to online, which means their website, uh, email, newsletter, social media channels. They will get credit for anyone who clicks through this link and ends up on your website. Uh, as folks click through, we're updating their progress for them in real time so they can uh, get instant feedback and see that um, they are uh, potentially earning money for everyone that they send your way. So in uh, our case here, I'm showing you the affiliate dashboard for Sam, one of our partners. So Sam has sent us 1,650 uh, unique visitors uh, using our link. Out of those, 22 of them have signed up, uh, which means we've got an opt-in for them. Out of those sign-ups, some of these people have purchases. Thanks to those purchases, Sam's got commissions. He's got commissions due this month, more for upcoming months. Uh, so you can see he's got another $76.50 due to him uh, at the end of this month. He's got more money in future months. He's made over $1,200 to date. So how does this all flow? Well, typically what we're going to do is pay out affiliates uh, a, a success based on the purchase. That could either be a percentage of the sale or a set dollar amount. So up to you which you want to choose. If you want to add some nuances to that, you're more than welcome to. We do support uh, a variety of commission plans and lead dinos. So if you want to pay... Uh, per opt-in as well. That's something you, you, you could set up if you want to do a per product commission. Um, we do support that for Shopify and BigCommerce, so that's an option as well. Uh, recurring subscriptions, we do support recurring commission plans, uh, which can be set up multi-level, so we do two, three uh, levels, all the way up to ten levels as well. So we've got some options there. Uh, let us know what you're thinking. Happy to uh, help you out, set that up, kind of guide you what others uh, in your industry are um, are doing there. So to share uh, this link here, I mentioned Sam can, can uh, copy and paste it, or he can also make use of our social media uh, shortcuts as well. So, for example, to share on Facebook, he's just going to hit that Facebook button. This logs him in, tees up a post, which he can then share with one additional click. His Facebook friends and followers are going to see this post come through their respective Facebook feeds. As they click through or tap through, Sam will get credit for uh, those referrals. Same idea with our other, other social media shortcuts. So to share on Twitter, he just hits that tweet button, logs them into Twitter, sees up the tweet. His Twitter followers will see this come through their tweet stream. As they click through, tap through, uh, Sam will get credit for uh, those referrals there as well. Now we have Instagram support also, so if folks want to put the, uh, their affiliate link in their Instagram profile, uh, that is easy enough to do here as well. All right, some other ways to share. So I mentioned Sam's got a website. Uh, for folks with websites, we provide uh, marketing materials to uh, banner ads like these. So this is here's an infographic which Sam can post on uh, on his own website. We've got the HTML for the graphic in here for him, and we also have uh, his affiliate link embedded in here. So Sam can post this uh, on his website, on his blog, and get credit for anyone who uh, clicks through here and ends up on our site. Same with these banner ads. So we've got uh, various styles, shapes, and sizes of these banners. So Sam can grab these banners, pop them on his own website as well. And again, he'll get affiliate credit for anyone who clicks through.
through here. Okay, let's hop over to the affiliate manager side of things as, uh, now. I'm going to show you how to set all of this stuff up. So from our uh, affiliate content section, uh, this is where we're going to do the configuration of that affiliate website. So we can select our color scheme here. This is where you can get your logo in place. We've got some other settings um, you can take advantage of. So for example, if you want, if you want to run a VIP style affiliate program, you can toggle this uh, setting to on right here. If you want to put the affiliate website on your own domain, uh, you can do that. Everything within the header, the introduction, the instructions can all be updated. So just update the text down here. You can also insert images if you would like. This is everywhere within the dashboard. You can insert links. You can get to the HTML directly. Uh, we even support custom CSS. So if you want to further style that page, you can do that. So a lot of uh, pretty much everything within the dashboard uh, can be customized here. We can also uh, add custom fields on affiliate sign up. So if you want to collect additional info from your affiliates when they sign up, so we just have the basics here by default. But if you want to collect more info from them, ask them their website, uh, company name, things like that. Uh, you can collect that uh, using our custom affiliate field feature right here. Okay, also within our content section, you can uh, write the Facebook post. So we've got the title of the Facebook post, uh, the body of it here, and the uh, URL. So this is where folks end up clicking through uh, after they click through that post. So you can write this for your affiliates, kind of get, get them off to a nice head start so that when they share this, um, they're, uh, they're kind of off and running. Uh, the tweet as well, so you can write the tweet. We've got 140 characters uh, to work with here. Twitter handles, hashtags, uh, all that good stuff. Banners can be added here as well, so you're just going to add a banner to pop those um, in, uh, in here uh, also. Let's walk through a few of our key tools for keeping affiliates engaged, and then we'll uh, kind of dovetail into affiliate recruitment here. So in terms of keeping folks engaged, we've got newsletters that we can send out to our affiliates, so we can send these out. Um, as you would like to, you'll be able to compose these within Lead Dino. Uh, this is a recent one I sent out to our affiliates, letting, letting them know uh, that Instagram sharing is now available, so showing them how they can get their affiliate link into their Instagram profile. With our newsletters, uh, some best practices that uh, I've had success with, I think if you can time your uh, newsletters with new product announcements, that's always a nice thing to do. If you can give your affiliates the inside scoop on things, uh, that always kind of helps them out, giving them something unique to share. Um, in terms of um, timing, I'll, I'll tend to also send these newsletters out with affiliate payments if we can. That's always a nice way to get our attention to let them know the payments are going out the door. And if they would like to uh, check out see if they made any money, uh, they can log in here to their uh, uh, affiliate newsletter, uh, I'm sorry, to their affiliate dashboard and uh, check that out. And then that's also where we have more um, sharing tools available for them. Uh, we also have some automated emails that can fire off. So these are going to go off in the system based on certain events. And the nice thing is that the system is kicking these out so you don't have to uh, sit there and compose these yourself or send these emails out individually. So for example, when a new affiliate signs up, we can send them this welcome email which contains their affiliate link as well as the link to their affiliate dashboard. So basically everything that uh, they need to get up and running. And we can also uh, let them know how they did uh, for the week. So the number of visitors, leads, and purchases that everyone got credit for, we can send them uh, an email that looks like this. And every time someone gets uh, credit for a new lead or a new purchase, we can send them an email um, such as this one to let them know, hey, uh, nice work, you got a commission. If we want to let them know who it was, we can let them know who it was that bought. And uh, always encourage them to get back to that affiliate dashboard so they can track their progress. All right, let's get into affiliate recruitment, one of everyone's uh, most pressing topics as well. We set up your, uh, our program here. How do we get affiliates to join the program? So a couple techniques that we have. An affiliate invitation email is a way to turn our new customers into uh, new affiliates. This is another automated email that if you enable it, will go out uh, as new customers buy from your reach out to them, let them know about your affiliate program, and we'll invite them to join. So a nice way to get a two-for-one where you can get a new customer and a new affiliate here um, at the same time. I would encourage you to take advantage of this. Um, uh, not much you need to do, just kind of enable the email here, and uh, then you'll be off and running. You can, of course, send um, your current email list, your uh, new affiliate sign-up page, where they can opt in for your program. 
And then we also have an affiliate network that we can feature you in. And this is uh, no cost to you uh, to join as a Lead Dino, um, as a uh, Lead Dino customer. So to join, what you do is just hit the network tab uh, from Lead Dino itself. <laughs> and then we'll pop you over to our um, affiliate network here. This is where you can sign up um, as a store owner. So it is free for, uh, for you to join here. And uh, from there, what we've got is a listing where we'll get you set up with a listing uh, featuring your product, featuring your affiliate program. We'll get you in, into a category. And then we'll also get you featured in newsletters that we send out going out to uh, affiliates and influencers interested in products in your category. Um, so we'd like to get uh, folks set up for early features as soon as you join. Um, if you're new to ecommerceaffiliates.com and you would like to get set up with a feature, uh, please let me know and I'd be happy to uh, get you teed up for, uh, uh, for one of our next ones. All right, and then let's end with affiliate payouts. So when it's time to pay our affiliates, what I'll do is I'll hit the, uh, uh, from our home screen here, I'll hit the pay button. Uh, so what we're doing here is uh, when it's time to uh, pay our folks, I'll just uh, toggle through when I want to pay them through. So this is the end of the month here. So Lori, I'm going to owe $1,217.275. So if I want to pay Lori via PayPal, I just hit the PayPal button. He's up a PayPal payment for me out to her for the amount that I owe her. Uh, if I'm going to cut her a check instead, I just write her a check and then just click the manual button, the marker being off as manually paid. Um, Otherwise, I could actually pay everyone all at once using PayPal Mass Pay as well. So that's an option that we have available uh, on our end also. All right, so I'm happy to get into your questions if we have any. So let me see if we got any uh, while I show you how to get additional support. So go ahead and type your questions um, in here if you do have any. Uh, let me also get that support page up for you. So phone, email, live chat available six days a week, Sunday uh, through Friday. Includes holidays as well. Um, uh, phone, email, live chat. So email, uh, I'm sorry, live chat lower right here on the website, lower uh, right within Lead Dino. Any questions for me, just to reply to any emails you got about this webinar today, and those will go back to me. Uh, otherwise, I thanks for joining. Hope it was helpful today. Um, stay in touch. Let me know if there's anything that we can do for you. Uh, love to hear how your affiliate program is working out for you, and uh, hope to talk to you soon. Everyone have a great rest of your Thursday.